In Harajuku, new hotspots are always popping up, like this one here. It looks like these girls are waiting for a vending machine. Something fun. These look like animals, but... Actually, this is an ice cream shop that opened in September. But they're not just here for ice cream. <laughs> They're here to snap photos of the animal cones, which are blowing up on social media. A search using the shop's hashtag brings up 3,000 photos posted over the past two months. Next, we went to this other ice cream shop, which opened in July. It's always packed, even on rainy days. They sell waffle cones with colorful sauces and cute cookie oh toppings. Oh, so you create cute. your own one-of-a-kind edible art. Wow. Plus... That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> the shop has a row of pink retro phones, which are great for posing with. Ever since it opened, it's been hot on social media. A search with the shop's hashtag brings up 10,000 photos posted over the past four months. Places that cater to the SNS crowd are opening up left and right in Harajuku. What is this? Now it's forever. <laughs> Check out this cafe sign. It's made to look like a bus stop. Tons of people come here to take photos. The social media craze doesn't stop with photogenic locations. There are new gadgets too. Everyone is trying to up their photo editing skills. So, this episode's feature story is Kawaii SNS Rules. Have you been to those places before? Uh, no. No, I right? haven't. I think they're a little too new for me. Really? Yeah. Cute. It's really interesting how shops now have taken SNS to such an extreme, mm -hmm. I guess, and like mm -hmm. placing crops and yeah. everything is so visually like detailed yeah. so that you can post it and then it'll mm. spread. Just like, a little what? bit while ago, it was actually bad to take pictures in any shop in Japan. Really? You know, like oh, you yeah, can't no take no like, pictures. Can't take and now photos. it's like, take a picture! And they like put up the cute, you know, photo spots for yeah. you. It's really gotten, mm -hmm. like, it's changed so much. Mm -hmm. Meet our five audience members. Jesse is from the UK and Kat is from the Netherlands. And they both coordinated their trips to Japan to be on the show. Like really being nice. here in the Shiny. studio. Yeah. It's really exciting. Absolutely. It's cuter yeah. than, than it looks on TV. It's so pretty and colorful, and I kind of want to live here. Yeah. <laughs> Just put my bed in here. Our host, Misha, is a fashion journalist. Let's check out her feed. I just have one thing, only fashion. Mm -hmm. I used to feel pressure to upload every day, but now I only upload when I have a picture that I like. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I always use a filter. Okay. Uh, I, I use an application to edit my photos. Mm -hmm. I, I erase color first. I put the color way down. Okay. And then oh, use, wow. later with my finger, I, I paint in oh, the shadows of the colors. Mm -hmm. So wow. I like the skin and the blacks to be gray and yeah. like white but I like the colors to be bright. How long does it take you to, to do one photo before you With post the it? uploading and the caption yeah. and then checking it and checking and it and checking it. it. <laughs> so oh it's like gosh, you have to have like 45 minutes at <laughs> least. Edit it, put it up, check it, check it, answer people, sure. check it, check it. It's a lot of work. Mm. It's a lot. Next, let's learn about a super popular hashtag in Japan. Can you guess it? So, these pictures all have one particular super popular hashtag, and I want you to guess what these pictures are portraying. Mm. Dreamy, maybe? Oh, boyfriend view. <gasps> oh! Yes! Boyfriend view. Yep. Do you know, Shorty? <laughs> do you know what this yes. is? You, you know do? what this is. What is it? Tell us. 
There's a boyfriend version too. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay, definitely. <laughs> oh, right no, no, thanks. So, oh, that's so funny. It's so funny. There's some funny ones. He's like, oh. <laughs> there's some cute, there's a cute guy up there. I like how he's feeding oh. me. I like that one. Yeah. ヤギチタトです。会社員です。今日のテーマは好きなお店のものを全部集めてみました。ワンピースはレトロな感じもあってとても可愛いなと思っています。今日のジャケットとも色味も合うので、あの今日はこれを着ようと思って組み合わせを
supporters or fans around the world who cover their local events for us. This time, our Kawaii reporter is from Toronto, Canada. Hey everyone, I'm Alexia, also known as Ghost Girl, and I'm here from Toronto, Canada as your Kawaii reporter. Alexia is a dancer who does performances in Canada, and she loves Japanese Kawaii culture. Today, I'm going to be reporting on the biggest Japanese festival here in Canada, which is called Japan Festival. What's in store for us at such a huge festival? There are performances of music and traditional Japanese culture, drawing 70,000 attendees. A highlight was the fashion show. The show featured Canadian brands inspired by Japanese Harajuku street fashion. Alexia interviewed the designers. Take it away, Alexia. Sarah is the designer of this brand, Zabi Confetti. And just a few questions. What is the main concept of your brand? So I've always been interested in like arts and crafts and illustration. So this was like a chance for me to showcase my drawings and what I like, like the quirky stuff I like on my shirts and apparel. Yeah. What kinds of things do you think is special about uh, your brand itself? So I think it's different in terms of like the characters that we have because, um, well, it's mostly cat based, but there's a lot of whimsical stuff like tomato cats and cat angels. Next, she interviewed the two designers of this creative kawaii brand. So, can I ask you, what's the concept of your brand? Our concept is like very multicolored, just a lot of fun, handmade, textured garments. We want to like create excitement when we wear our stuff. I would say the uniqueness of it, with the, the mixture of different elements that we bring as well. Finally, check out this fairy style brand that is a pastel dream come true. Actually, Alexia is the designer for this brand. I like to mix a lot of pop styles, like kawaii style, as well as hip-hop style, too. I like to create for everyone and for any day use. Lots of different colors and styles, and lots of cute characters as well. We had no idea that there are so many kawaii brands in Canada. Alexia, thanks so much for your report. It is the biggest Japanese festival here in Canada, and I hope to see it grow even bigger than it is. So, I'm Alexia. Hope you enjoyed today. I am your Kawaii reporter. Bye-bye. Send in your ideas for Kawaii Reporter. Send us details about what you want to cover, which can be events or even your own club. For more information, click on the banner on the Kawaii International website. Newsflash. Entries are now closed for the fashion photo contest to pick the next kawaii leader. A huge thanks to everyone for sending in your entries. We picked 10 finalists from hundreds of applicants. We'll announce them in the next episode of Kawaii International. Don't miss it! Next, let's meet Instagrammers in the spotlight in Japan. First up is Kai, an art school student. She's known for the amazingly detailed illustrations that she draws by hand on her photos. After her how-to videos went viral among junior high and high school students, she got over 30,000 followers. Kai gave us a very special glimpse into her production process. She's going to decorate this Purikura image. Kaya uses an app to draw her own doodles on the image. She zooms in and out as she works. She's careful to balance the illustrations with what's in the photo. Wow. Plus, Kaya's policy is to avoid erasing anything. Mm. She's after that special hand-drawn quality that makes her photos different. 
It takes her about 20 minutes to finish the picture. Check it out. She made tons of really unique text and illustrations. She's a natural pro. The next Instagrammer in the spotlight is Sakibon, a receptionist by day. Her specialty is editing her face beyond recognition. It's a genre called sagi shame, or fake face, which is popular in Japan. She gained attention after an appearance on TV, and she shot to about 25,000 followers. Sakibon and her friend visited an ice cream shop in Ebisu. Sakibon wanders around the shop with her smartphone in hand. Lighting makes all the difference for selfies. She's looking for the ideal spot that will make her look as good as possible. Seems like Sakibon found the sweet spot for taking her selfie. With the right lighting, your skin will look better. Sakibon took about 60 photos here. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is her favorite one. She uses four apps to do the image editing. It took her about seven minutes to do. The photo started out like this. Check out how it ended up. Compare it with the unedited photo. Her face is smaller. And if you look closely, you can tell her nostrils are smaller too. Her skin is also prettier. She's earned her stripes as a fake face pro. Next, it's time for hands-on kawaii. Sakibon will teach us her fake face editing technique. And so we have Sakibon here in the studio with us. Yay! Thank you so much for being here with us to share your secrets. Using Shiori as her model, she's gonna show us her technique step by step. Sakibon took a bunch of photos and picked this one. It's time to edit. So we choose the picture. Gleam. Gleam. Oh, it is. It's kind of like more rosy. Yeah. Oh, wow. ここにこのアイコンのアプリで顔の加工をします。ああ。最初は消しで。ほうれい線。ほうれい線と鼻の小鼻を消します。ああ。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。お
It looks really, really cute, doesn't it? Whoa. It does. It looks really cute, but it doesn't look like Shiro anymore. <laughs> no, it, you know it what I mean? But it's really amazing how much you can do now yeah. with a photo. Oh, yeah. Mm. What was it like, Shiori? <laughs> you know, it's very much creating this image and this character mm -hmm. of yourself, mm -hmm. which is really, like, quite mm -hmm. creative. Wow. Right. And so how did you come up with this, your plant, retouching plan? Wow. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank secrets you with so us. Much. Thank you. It's almost Christmas, and we have someone to show us the perfect dish to make for the winter holidays. Hello, I'm Kaoru, and I'm a cooking researcher. Kaoru specializes in decorated sushi rolls, where you make pictures with ingredients in the cut. In the previous episode, she showed us how to make ones that look like flowers. How about this time? I'm making decorative snowman sushi rolls. The ingredients you'll need are rice, dried seaweed, vinegar, sugar, salt, scrambled eggs, a carrot, and red bell pepper. First, mix the seasoning with the cooked rice to create vinegar rice. Next, we'll make the snowman's head and body. Cut a 10 by 10 centimeter sheet of dried seaweed. Place 40 grams of vinegar rice on the section of seaweed closest to you and roll it up. You want to make it round, so press it down gently. The snowman's head is done. To create the body, use a slightly bigger sheet of seaweed and rice, following the same steps we just did. Next, use a carrot to make the snowman's scarf and hat. You want to cut the carrots like this beforehand. Then boil them until they're tender. Next, roll the carrots. Place the seaweed on the side and roll the thinly sliced carrots like this. This is the snowman's scarf. Use this one centimeter cut to make the snowman's hat. Next, put the parts together to create a snowman shape. Take 150 grams of the rice and mix it with some scrambled eggs. Then, divide this yellow rice into small batches like this. Next, use a tool called a rolling mat. If you don't have one, you can use a towel instead. Cut a sheet of seaweed 10 by 20 centimeters and another piece that is 10 by 10 centimeters. Use pieces of rice to glue it together. Take this 30 centimeter piece of seaweed and make a big sushi roll. Use 80 grams of the yellow rice, leaving four centimeters uncovered on both sides and spread it out. Make sure the rice is spread out evenly. In the center, place the roll for the snowman's main body. Next, place the scarf that you made out of a carrot. Place the head horizontally on top. Next, spread out 15 grams of the rice. Put on the hat. Spread out 10 grams of the yellow rice on this side and 20 grams on the other side. Hold the rolling tool and seaweed together and cover the top with 30 grams of yellow rice. Squeeze the rolling tool. This will give it a round shape. 
When you slice the roll, wet the knife with vinegar water. This way, it will come out looking nice. You can use peppers, carrots, and seaweed to create your favorite kind of snowman. Your wintertime decorative sushi roll is done. It's delicious and looks cute too, which makes it perfect for parties. Please give it a try. Bye-bye. We've got good news if you want to see the show again. Click on this banner on the Kawaii International website. On the NHK World Video On Demand page, you can stream the TV show for free two weeks after the broadcast. Check it out. So Melody, today we talked about social media culture in Japan. What do you think about it? I mean, I'm still in shock, I think, a little bit of all of these new things that are coming out. But it's really interesting how far and how progressive it mm -hmm. has become. So it's very interesting to see the culture here and how it's like, it's okay to be in your own world mm -hmm. and to look how you want to look and yeah. accepted. Yes. Yeah, it was very fascinating. All right, so I hope you guys catch us on the next Kawaii International. Bye! Hashtag NHK Kawaii. Check out these amazing photos that you all posted with the NHK Kawaii hashtag. This was shot at an ice cream shop. Her socks are super cute. She drew this illustration after a trip to Japan. The hair clips and big glasses are so Tokyo. This nail art is inspired by the classroom. The details like the pencil and ruler are so fun. What's kawaii to you? Whether it's fashion, makeup, or whatever, we want to see it. Add the hashtag to your social media posts. We can't wait to hear from you. Next time on Kawaii International. It's street style for couples. We have a feature story on Peko and Ruchel, who have a whopping 2.16 million followers. Find out about their private lives and how they put together their couple's outfits. Do you know <laughs> Plus, we announced the 10 contest finalists to pick the next Kawaii leader. Don't miss it.